It remains one of the most violent, brutal crimes in Montana history. And tonight, six years later, no one's been charged with murdering three women at a Florence hair salon. But as time marches on, so does the police work to solve the case, quietly and methodically. I've been asked, do you think that people are healing up? from the murders that took place in Florence, and I don't know that you ever heal up. We learned to go on and continue to try to honor the victims and their families by doing the best job we can in terms of the investigation. Ravalli County Sheriff Chris Hoffman knows a community and three families need closure to what's called the Florence murders. A nice fall morning quickly turned sinister November 6, 2001. That's the day Dorothy Harris, Brenda Patch, and Cynthia Paulus are ambushed, their throats cut by a person in a long dark coat and hat. Somebody who marched into the hair gallery salon sometime between 9 and 11 that morning, killed them, and disappeared. Investigators called it one of the most brutal crime scenes they've ever seen. If anybody has seen anything suspicious, we'd sure um, encourage them to contact 911. Perry Johnson was the Ravalli County Sheriff back then. Six years later, he is the lead investigator on the case, working with local, state, and federal investigators on an arrest. There is progress, but exactly what is too top secret to talk about by anyone, even now? When you investigate a case for six years, obviously it's a complex case. Because it's ongoing, I really can't go into those complexities now. I think those things will come to light in, in at some point in the future. We've been shown a picture of, of the number one suspect. Two years ago, a name emerged. Brian Weber, a local man family members believe knows what happened that day, but a man not officially charged or accused. After years in the Missoula County Jail on federal drug charges, he's now in a prison in Oregon. It's a long, complicated case and no arrests yet, but still, Sheriff Hoffman and team are not frustrated. We're patient. We're gonna we're gonna continue to work this until it's closed. And you want the public to trust you about this? <laughs> Obviously, we continue to ask for the community's patience and their help. We we hope to be able at some point in the future to bring them good news that that the matter is solved. Now I keep in touch with several of the victims' family members. They tell me they would rather the investigation is done right instead of done fast. And although it is tough, they are willing to wait to make sure whoever killed Dorothy, Brenda, and Cindy are punished. 